so today in this video we shall learn to find a gcf or hcf of 24 and 36 and here we shall find out gcf or hcf of 24 and 36 by two method first one by prime factorization method and second one by division method so let's find out gcf or hcf of 24 and 30 by prime factorization method so while finding out gcf or hcf by prime factorization method first of all we have to find out the prime factors of given numbers so our numbers are 24 and 30 so let's find out the prime factors of 24 so it is 2 times 12 means 24 like as 2 times 6 means 12 like as 2 times 3 means 6 and 3 times 1 means 3 in the same way we shall find out the prime factors of 30 so it is 2 times 15 means 30 like as 3 times 5 means 15 and 5 times 1 means 5 so as you look here we have find out the prime factors of 24 and 30 so from these prime factors we can write 24 is equal to so from here it is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 in the same way we can write 30 is equal to from here it is 2 times 3 times 5 so as you look here we have written the prime factors of 24 and 30 so now we find out the common factors in these prime factors so here is 2 and here is also 2 so 2 is our first common factor like as here is 3 and here is also 3 so 3 is also our common factor and here is 2 and here is 5 which is non-common factor so as you know we are finding out here gcf or hcf so gcf or hcf is the product of all common factors only so we have common factors are 2 and 3 so now we have to find out the product of these common factors so it is 2 times 3 means 6 so 6 is the product of common factors therefore 6 is the gcf of hcf of 24 and 30 so in this way we can find out gcf of 24 and 30 by prime factorization method so now our second method is by division method so let's find out gcf of hcf of 24 and 30 by division method so while finding out gcf of hcf by division method first of all you have to divide the greater number with the lesser number so we have greater number is 30 and lesser number is 24 so it is 24 times 1 means it is 24 so 30 minus 24 means it is 6 so here we have a remainder 6 so when the remainder comes then again we have to divide the divisor with a remainder so 6 divides the divisor 24 so it is 6 times 4 means it is 24 and it is at last we have 0 so here at last we have no remainder so at last we have no remainder and the divisor 6 is taking no remainder so while finding out gcf or hcf by division method first of all we have to divide the greater number with the lesser number and while dividing if the remainder comes then we have to again divide the divisor with remainder and keep dividing until there is no remainder at last so as you look here first we have taken 6 as remainder then again divided the divisor 24 then at last we have taken no remainder so the divisor 6 is taking no remainder so it becomes the gcf of hcf therefore we can write gcf of hcf is equal to 6 because 6 is taking no remainder at last so in this way we can find out gcf of hcf by division method so this much for today and if you have any question for math then just comment your question in a comment below and we shall provide a video solution of your question so thank you